All right, here we are. This is the camera DJI's ordinary color. It's like their color without any processing done to it or anything like that. Let's see. You see the differences on a, <clears throat> on a day like this. I find the, the sky is super blue. It's way, way too blue on this, uh, um, on their color setting. And uh, and I think they learned that from GoPro because I find when people buy a GoPro to go on action safari or oh, this guy's honking at us. <clears throat> You know on travel and they want to have these super saturated colors on their vacation it makes them happy right and they said that program the algorithm to give you as bright as of a color as possible so when you come back from vacation you're like wow the water was so blue the sky was so crazy blue and you know but what is this place a comedy club yeah looks like a club of some sort but it's not real. <clears throat> so let's just try some of it with um, the flowers. And... All right, look at this patio. Tons of these patios. They're looking better and better. They got some, you know, like grass, grassy stuff attached to the. Yeah, I guess at night. They're gonna be. Well, that's a pretty cool uh, place, actually. Seafood market. We're gonna go check that inside here. See what's going on here. Cool. Hey, how are you? All right, thank you. The wine push. All right. Interesting stuff. <coughs> oh, they're going to tear this place down, too. Whenever you see one of these signs, the place is going down. Oh, is it this place? We have a barbecue place. That's a pretty cool happening place. They got, uh, I like this place. They got outdoor TVs and it's, this is a good place. Feels good. Like if you want to hang out in the evening, eat some junk food, fries and all. What? It's the place to go. How's the colors? They're pretty bright. I'm getting used to it. I'm liking it. Film machine is liking the crazy colors. Look at these reds and whoa. Let's keep walking, keep walking. All right, we're gonna switch back to normal colors soon. It's a pain in the ass to switch them over. Let's just keep going with these colors. Maybe I desaturate them a little bit. If, if it doesn't work, water sports. Look at this. What is this place? Another coffee shop, yeah? All the fun stuff. Should we go in here? Why not? Do not lean bicycle against the window. Hi, how are you? How are you? Oh. How are good, good, good. Just checking things out, see what you got. So that's some pretty cool. Okay, just looking around, just okay. walking around. Sounds good. If you have questions, just let we'll, me know. We'll do. Thank you.
All right, thank you. Good, good, good. These are cool. Very cool. Thank you. <coughs> Very interesting. I like this store. Good. Uh, they had the good, what do you call them? Uh, those scuba diving goggles. They're so modern now. Oh, I love, used to love those. I remember when I was a kid uh, in Iran. <laughs> They used to have the cheap ones. I mean, everybody had one kind of like a plasticky blue, you know, had one screw on top of it, like it pinched your nose and lips. And it was very uncomfortable after hours, a couple of hours of wearing it and messing around underwater. Uh, you'd had, you know, blue lips and your gums were hurting and all that kind of stuff. It was like, but it's cheap as hell. And it was just like a one round thing that covered your nose and your eyes and everything. And look at these guys. These guys are having a good time. Let's just film these guys a bit, digging. All right, it's cool. Oh, she almost flipped. Yeah, we used to have these really poor quality goggles. And, uh, the ones they're selling over there, the modern ones are like, oh man, they really feels comfortable. They feel like you can wear them for hours. And the glass is like, you know, before it was this plastic, like a, you know, like a plastic material that would get scratched and all that. And it never worked that well. We're entrapped inside a, whatever this is. But the, this new ones look really, really good. Look like you could spend hours on the water. You could live on the water. The wind is howling at us. I like the wind. Again, guys, why are you leaving garbage? Look at this. Is it pineapple? Are you serious? That's like a that's like a tube of pineapple out of a can of pineapple to can. I guess weird. What what things you can see when you look in the ground and look around? You see completely crazy stuff. This thing was not even like last time I came here. This thing wasn't even going up. This thing wasn't even any action here. But look, they got the... Ah, oh, those are fun things to climb. I watch these videos of these kids climbing these things. Ah, oh, I love it. Here, this is another one of these guys here. This guy is going to be one of these things. Young Street. Looking south on Young Street. Let's keep going to... Next one is, uh, I think... Okay, should we turn this color off? Let's turn this color off uh, when we get there behind the wall. I'm gonna turn off the color now. All right, turn it off. Back to film mission colors. Let's see which one is better. MIA. It's called the MIA brunch bar. Missing in action. Their clients are missing in action. Hair salon. This guy's a must try. It's gonna. It's got a window here. All right, let's just go back to body cam. Okay, there's another construction going out there. <clears throat> Craziness, craziness. The building is, uh, gotta watch the cars. We're walking right, right into red lights. All right. Trying to be craziness. Nice. Look at this thing. Woohoo! Yeah, we're, we're at Midtown Toronto now. This is the happening place in the city, Toronto, Young and Eglinton. All the cool people want to live here. Guys, This I didn't want to film him, but there's a guy in a bus stop who shaved his head like randomly in different spots. Randomly shaved this different spots. So you could, you, he wasn't bald. He had lots of hair, but he'd shaved the front, but not the back, but spatula. 
and it looked exactly like a hair photograph that I'm working on right now where they put bald caps on the models. Hey, how are you doing? And it looked exactly like that. Look at these tall buildings. They're very picturesque. When I first came to Canada from England, I was always like, I love these tall buildings. They're cool. They're like, oh my God, the sign of, uh, you know, modern city and all that. I was like excited because London was all short buildings. But like now I just would never want to live up there. Like you're way in the sky, like just you're isolated in the, in the middle of nowhere. I like to live uh, first, second, third, fourth, fifth floor, tops, fifth, fifth is like max, you know. Uh, second, third is best. You, you, get the, you get the feel for the street, but not, none of these streets, like all of these new condos, they start, there's a shop underneath and there's a gym on top. So even if you're like on a first, this is a subway stop, I guess. Like even, uh, that's like a third floor or second floor there. It's already way too high up. You're already pretty high. I mean, you still get access to the street. But once you go past like in the main towers up there, that like you're already like 10th floor up. So the construction is still there. How the hell this guy got his Corvette here? Huh? That's kind of interesting. Look, check it out. It's got this beautiful Corvette. All right. It's got its uh, Corvette parked in the construction. So it must be the construction guy. Parked it in the morning. There's no way anybody else could kind of sneak in a construction site and park their car. Can they? Or maybe it's the head construction guy and knows what he's doing. He can do whatever he wants. I'll park my car whenever I want. I like this sign. It says no access. It says no access. And there's a sign. It's like, all right. It's like, don't come in our building, please. <laughs> it reminds me of Bogart, my friend who was doing, uh, look at Roger's building. He's like, don't come to our building. We don't care. Oh, what the hell's happening? What the hell's happening? Film mission is stuck. Look at this. Sidewalk is closed. There you go. Ah. Now what? Ah. Maybe it says no access to, for the sidewalk. But they had a going that way. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Wow, what a nightmare. All right, everybody's coming this way, though. Do you think it's... Let's go in here. Screw it. <coughs> Maybe we'll find something cool. I don't know. What's going on here? Can I go this way to the street? Um, it's uh, like, you have to take the stairs from the <laughs> Okay. That's funny. This is interesting, isn't it? Push. All right, push. Wow, what a crazy place. I guess this used to be a store and it's closed now. Oh, this is good. big uh, dig out. You know what? There's no elevators going down. It's just stairs going down. Let's 
it's funny how they have this massive stairway <laughs> taking half the lobby space but no uh, escalator going up that's really weird isn't it <clears throat> look how big this uh, that one escalator going up but strange strange wow interesting okay that was an interesting detour there's another sign there too saying they're gonna change something so we were in there all right this is young and uh, eglinton major intersection in toronto canada and they've been digging it for the past five years maybe more this guy's got his bike in front of the train stop you're going the wrong way how do you know where i'm going this guy presumes this guy's a construction worker sir chilling out for lunch how did i know i'm going which way i'm going how do you know where I'm going, mister? Oops, we're going the wrong way. <clears throat> the construction workers are chilling down. Let's just go here. Look. Is it lunchtime? Yeah, it's about 12 o'clock. It's about 2 o'clock. Okay, we walk a little bit further and then uh, we'll finish this uh, disaster of a walk here. Smoking break. Let's see if this is what's going on here. They've been, they've been play digging this for a long time. We got a pretty packed restaurant there, coffee shop. All right, how far is this blue thing? Cinema. I've been to this cinema before. You guys think the cinemas are gonna survive in the next five, five years? I don't know. How much of this blue tape they have here? Nothing's going on here. Okay, I'm gonna go on the other side from the lights. I'm gonna hit the other side and It's an electric bike. Everybody's got an electric bike now. Like people are passing on a bike like at high speeds. And they're like, what the hell is that? The bingo book place. <laughs> These guys are selling something. But when you got the camera on, they leave you alone. <laughs> they're like, we don't want to be on camera. Urban Outfitters. Let's cross here. Not many uh, homeless people this high up in Toronto. This is Young Street all the way down there. If you go maybe four to five stops, subway stops, you're going to be downtown where I filmed the uh, marches in the city. We're going to end the film here, maybe start another one. Next to this United States of uh, Britain pop. Thanks for everybody for joining me on this walk. Young and Eng Eglinton area. It's pretty cool. These guys decided to sit in the sun. Everybody's having a beer. This is a good patio. Some patios is film mission approved. Some are non film mission approved. Anyway, thanks for joining me for this walk in Toronto's Young and Eglinton. A relaxing walk and talk. We'll catch you in the next film. Film mission out.